Hi, so today I'm going to take this picture and I'm going to make a pocket scrapbook page from it. I'm imagining that this picture will go in these four pockets. So I'm going to end up splitting the picture two ways, fitting it in four pockets. I've pulled some paper here from my stash, but I saved these because look how cool those are. Um, I also have some 4x6 cards here from different Project Life um, and pocket scrapbooking kits that I've purchased. And I have my six by six plain paper that I have in different um, collections. One of the things that I do with my craft supplies is I keep them here in my desk. I just have a few drawers down here and this is my everyday work desk. So um, I've had to become creative with the types of supplies that I keep on hand and then um, the ones that are most easily adaptable to the type of crafting that I do. So that's why I just have the 6x6 pads. Um, I used to have a stash of 12x12s, 12 but I found I didn't go to those nearly as much and they took up a lot more room. They did not fit in this desk and um, so then I wouldn't naturally go to them as easily. The great part about this pocket scrapbooking too is it's very... Um, it's quick, but then you only can have to think about really like one pocket at a time. And then slowly but surely you're, we build the whole page and it just feels like not overwhelming at all. Do I want that right in the middle there? Or maybe, I think I do want it right in the middle. Um, that's the tricky part about doing squares is a lot of times that offset kind of look um, of thirds that works with the typical four by six. If you want to be safe when you're working with squares, just keep your design right in the middle of that frame. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. Looking at the colors I've started to pull in, I have some gold, dark green, and red. 